I can't say tons of fun three times. Hey everyone, we're here at the Eurogamer Expo at the Xbox stand and we've been having a go at some of the ID at Xbox games. Now for those of you guys that don't know what the ID at Xbox program is, it's giving a huge opportunity to indie developers to get their games out there, to get them seen by you and for you to have a chance to play them. It's tons of fun. So what was your favourite game that you've had a go at yet? I have to say it's Cuphead. It's kind of like this 1930s cartoon and it is so difficult. Like I, I wasn't expecting it to be as difficult as it was. It's like a little pla a platform shooter. Yeah. So much fun, but so hard. Yeah, very tricky. We did a bit of co-op on that one and oh, it's a difficult one, but fun. What about you? Uh, I think one of my favourites so far is Hue and it's you change the colour around you to find things in the environment and solve puzzles and it's like, it's beautiful. It's such a clever mechanic. Talking about beautiful games, the Solus project is absolutely stunning. You've got like meteor showers coming in, the effects crash landed. It looks incredible. I can't believe it's an indie dev. It's so beautiful. Another really good game that I had to go on was Flame in the Flood, a kind of survival adventure game. I can imagine it being a real time sink for people who like those kind of games. And it's really beautiful art style. No, it did look really cool, but a game that I found amazingly cool and so fun was Anarchy. Like, it was something that was completely That's unexpected good. for me. You literally get a huge riot of bunnies and crocodiles and loads of other animals. You go like kind of throw cars, objects, build a riot, like try to get the biggest riot you can going through something, knocking buildings over. Uh, it was absolutely awesome. One of my favorite games that I got my hands on today though was super hot. I'm so excited for this game. I got to play the demo today. It looks amazing. I, I was struggling with that because I was kind of going out of the angle. It's like first person shoot is going to be fine. And I was just getting killed, killed, not, killed. Yeah, not your regular first-person shooter. It's a puzzle game, and it's just, oh, it's brilliant. I well, talk, but talking of first-person shooters, I had to go on Bedlam, which is kind of like this 90s arcade style. Amazing, it was really good. The thing I have to say about it is what made me laugh was the accent and the, and the voice. It's beautiful Scottish accent, so represent. Graham's going to be happy about that one. I'd rather be stuck here forever than in Starfire. Or Sterling, to be honest. One game that is really tricky but I really enjoyed was Gear Gauntlet, but you had a bit of trouble. Yeah! Like, I'm colorblind, so you've kind of got, when you're playing through, you've got to kind of, depending on the color of the block, you've got to choose the color that corresponds to it on your controller. So I was like, is it green? Is it yellow? I don't know. I think a game that we had a lot of fun with was Jumpstars, and it was kind of the first little bit of competition we had at EGX, you know? Kind of going in, I lost the first one. I was about to say I came in and won the second one, but I kind of cheated. Yeah, it just pushed me off the platform. It's supposed to be a team game on that round. <laughs> well, no, well, we were kind of working together as a team, but pretty much it's got loads of little mini games that you can play up to four players. I like try and knock each other off the podiums. You kind of like pass each other dynamite, try to get it. So like, it's like typical school chase. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit like total wipeout, but bit of a video game version. So that's some of the games that we played on the Idea Xbox stand at EGX. Been having tons of fun, and remember, they're going to be coming to your Xbox One over the next few months. So keep an eye out for them. And they'll be coming to this channel as well, as we'll be having a go at them and showing you what they're like. So make sure you subscribe. Let us know in the comments down below which one you're most excited for. And if you enjoyed it, drop the video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time.